So you've been searching on YouTube looking for ways for you to create this auto-tune sound that you're hearing so many songs and from some of your favorite artists, but you haven't got the actual auto-tune plugin. Inside Logic Pro X, there's some cool features and stock plugins that will help you to create the exact same sound. So I've got this vocal here that could do with a little bit of tuning, but I also want to show you how to create that auto-tune, auto-tuned effects like D-Block, T-Pain, them type of sounds. So just have a quick listen to this vocal. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. I'm just busy trying to stack up off my line. I remember when you were down to ride. All right, all right. So you hear, you, you hear what I'm working with. Um, there's a few parts in there that could do with a bit of work. So I'm just going to show you using flex pitch how to get that auto tune sound. So we open up flex pitch by clicking on flex pitch, show hide. It's going to bring up your flex pitch window. So you can see here, it's all the notes from the performance. Just turn it off a sec. If you double click your file and you turn note pitch or uh, flex pitch on, it's going to bring up flex pitch on both the actual window for well, dedicated window and also at the top you're going to see it in the arrange window so it's up to you which one you want to use you don't have to use the top one uh, i'm not too sure how you, you could close that but we're just going to concentrate on this bottom one for now so if you notice i'll just highlight these so you can see them these notes have a little space in them so that's where logic's saying that's where the notes are at all these represent the different notes of the performance um which i'll show you by pressing Solo. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. I'm just so, wait, so you and me, but you get the drift. All of these are different notes. You can manipulate and tweak all those different notes to get them in tune. If they're flat, if they're sharp, uh, if there's too much vibrato, vibrato being the natural vibration of your voice. Um, you've got these six notes. So what logic is, look, what logic is, no, can't talk today. What logic is saying is these notes are a little bit off, they're not snapped to the grid of the key of the song. So if I double click any of the notes, Logic's are gonna lock them into place. So let's have a quick listen to that now. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. All right, so that first one is a bit too high. So we're gonna drop that down. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. I'm just busy trying to stack up off my line. I remember when you were down to ride. Now you're busy and you're taking all my time. Go a different fall, cause you already know this. All right, so that's cool. Sounds like it's in, in tune. Um, obviously, you could do a bit of tweaking with some of the other stuff that's going on in the actual window. So let's just talk about these six nodes that are around. The six... Let's call, we call them options. The six options that are around each node. What, what do you want to call them? Nodes, options. Let's just go with options for today's video. I might change it at a different date <laughs> in a different video. Be like, yeah, last video you said it was options. Now you're calling it nodes. Doesn't really matter. So we, let's look at the first one. We've got pitch drift, which you'd see is the is the drift of the note. Uh, is, is it on a different note, lower or higher? Then on the right side, you've got pitch drift for your left for the right side of that note. All you, can, all you need to do is just, if you're not happy with it, just control and Z to undo. So I'm just going to exaggerate that first pitch drift. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. So you see it's just way too high. If we bring it up a little bit higher, it might sound a bit more natural. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. Still a bit off. Um, That's okay. We're just going to leave that there for now. Sometimes when the pitch drift is like on a different note, as you can see on this here. So what that's saying in Logic is if you just cut that note, it's going to lock it into a different place. I've used the cut tool, which would be your first or second tool. I like to have it as my second tool and command. Let's hear it. You and me, baby, there's no time. Okay, that sounds a bit dodgy. Let's pull that up a touch. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. Oof. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. I'm just... Okay, so yeah, that that's another option for you to do. If you're not really happy with how that vocal sounds and, and the pitch drift is not doing much for you just by using that, you can cut the, the notes if it's two notes in one note sort of thing, one bar. So moving on to the middle node. 
So you've got your first node, which is pitch drift. You've got your, sec your right node, which is the third node, which is the right pitch drift. And the middle node is a fine pitch. So you can just go up and down if it's a bit too flat, if it's a bit too sharp. Bit too flat, bit too sharp, you can just use that middle note to get it pitch perfect if that's what, well perfect if that's what you want to do for that vocal. Then moving to the left, we've got the gain, which is useful for just leveling your vocals, which is something I showed in one of my other videos, showing you how to level vocals without using a compressor. So that's a cool little trick there. This middle note is your vibrato. Your vibrato is like a, the natural vibrations of your voice, your vocals when you're singing or rapping, whatever it is you're doing, you're going to have like a, a bit of a bar on there. And that's where the source is when you want to do the auto tune type effect, which I'm going to show in a minute. Bear with me. So the last node is a form and shift node. What did I call it earlier? Option. So the sixth option on here is the formant. I'm not hundred percent on what formant is, but I know that I know a little bit to say that it's the character of your voice, um, your throat. So if you go higher, it's going to make you sound more like a chipmunk. If you go low, it's going to sound a bit more moody sounding, I'll say. Let's just hear what that's done. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. So you can get a bit ro robotic and that with it. I've just, uh, and then I'll just make it lower. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. And that there, is I can't I've never used ever used that for for pitch shifting because normally I like to use the pitch shifter plugin or the uh, the waves one but that I like that because it sounds a lot more natural so I might just start using that let's just let me just uh bring the format down for this whole thing a second and see how that sounds you, you and me, baby, there's no time. I'm just busy trying to stuck up off my line. I remember when. Right, I'm going to bring it back and make it lower. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. I'm just busy trying to stuck up off my line. I remember. Uh, I like that. That I'm I'm going to be using that in my next mixes. I'm not using the plugin because sometimes the plugin, I feel it adds some artifacts that I'm not really feeling. And I feel like if I use that, I might get some better results. But anyway, um, so that's the different options that's within each note of your performance. And now I'm going to show you how to get that auto tune effect. Another thing to be aware of when you're using this um, flex pitch is you might get some pops and clicks when you try, when you start tuning your vocals. Um, I know this isn't about the tuning vocals; it's about getting auto tune. But I just wanted to share with you the the, the lift. The, the, the different little options that you have in this um, arrangement window. So we're going to use the vibrato and we're going to make that 0%. And that should give us the auto tune effect. Let's hear it with the beat. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. I'm just busy trying to stuck up off my line. I remember when you were down to ride. Now you're busy and you're taking all my time. Got a different phone because you already know this. All right. It's okay. It's not the best. I wouldn't use it myself. I, I wouldn't just. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go for that. That wouldn't be my first option. My option would be to use this. So I'm gonna just keep that vocal tuned, but I want the vibrato that's already there. So I'm gonna keep all the vibrato. But I'm gonna go to my pitch correction, pitch, and then I'm gonna find the the key of the song, the beat. That, um, the song that I'm working with. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use auto key. Um, I'm going to use auto key just to see what it is. You can use other options. You can use, if you haven't got auto key, just drop your beat into one of these online key finders. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. I'm just busy trying to stack up off my line. I'll... All right, so auto key is telling me it's A minor. Let's roll with that. So I've got my pitch correction. I'm going to use the... A minor. Put that into the scale is minor. The what's that say? So your root note is A. Well, mine is A. And this these two sliders here are gonna change the 
that's some of the sources. The response, the faster the response, the more it's going to sound like auto-tune, auto-tune effect. And the slower, obviously, it's not going to be as effective. And then we've also got the detune, which is, it can make, it can lift the vocal or make it sound more dull. I'm going to show you though, because I'm, instead of explaining it. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. I'm just busy trying to stock up off my line. I don't remember when. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. I'm just busy trying to stock up off my line. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. So if you notice, I got, when I go higher with the D tune, it gives the vocals a lift. You, you and me, baby, there's no time. I'm just busy trying to stock up off my line. Okay, there's a dodgy note in there. This is so taking all my time, got a different folk. Let's just take that note out of here. Busy and you're taking all my time, got a different focus. Now that sounds a lot more smooth. I actually like the way the two work together. I really like the way that the two work together, both the flex pitch, that's tuning little bits and pieces, and then the uh, pitch correction. Pitch? I can't say it. Pitch correction on top as well, like just bringing the two together. I like how it created a nice sound. And I think there's a, there's a few things today that I'm going to use in future mixes. So now you know how to auto-tune with stop plugins that's ready there for you inside Logic Pro. So there's no excuses. Go create. And I'll see you in the next video.